Good evening, VV Nation, and welcome to the channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest. Glad to be here. Glad to ha always have you here. It's Monday. It's 6 p.m. It's time for my top stock weekly picks. So I'm going to start to to name this or brand this as the way to get your week started. All right. We're going to always bring clean, good, positive energy, well, no matter what the market's doing, to get you guys on the right track and give you some stocks to always take advantage of, no matter what the market is doing. So, with that being said, we're going to open right up to the VectorVest software, and I'm going to start with the U.S. So, when I do these videos on 6 p.m. on Monday, what I do is I look at both the U.S. market and the Canadian market, and I got a portfolio that tracks the movement of these stocks that I put out on a weekly basis. So market timing graph, I'm going to be bullish looking at what's going on. The market's definitely moving higher, not at three month highs, but definitely moving higher. Looking at our indicators, the underlying trend of the market or the MTI is above one. That's a good thing. The buy to sell ratio is on the rise, telling me that more stocks are becoming buy recommendations in this current rally, not above one yet. And RT moving higher, not above one yet, telling me that the market's in an uptrend. But price action shows me that the market is moving higher. Now, I am starting to go down the path of making sure that you guys on a Monday are in safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price, preferably in a rising market. Well, the market's rising, so these should be great stocks for you to look at for this week. How do I find these stocks? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. I've created a search called Safe Undervalued Rising. For those of you who are subscribers to the VectorVest software, I'm going to walk you through the search. Price greater than a dollar. Price split adjusted, less than value. I want undervalued stocks. Relative safety above 1.2. These are stocks that should meet or exceed earnings expectations quarter over quarter, year over year. Relative timing, here's the rising part. Relative timing, trending higher for three days. And RT has to be above one. So the stock not only has to be in an uptrend, but needs to be rising higher for three days and it's sorted by VST. So I run the search, I look and find the stocks that are moving up the most today and I put them into a watch list. Now, here's my stocks for you this week uh, for the US market, Harmony, Lennar, Toll Brothers, two of them in the same industry, Reconnaissance and Wix. Notice that they're all moving up today. I noticed that they are fundamentally sound. Relative values, relative safeties are both above one, relative timing above. These stocks are some of the best stocks that are out there. And for, you know, picks for the beginning of the week, I think this is a great place to be. Notice that they are all undervalued. And that's a tough thing to do in the current market's conditions where so many stocks are overvalued because so many people are putting money into the stocks, making you have to pay a premium to own the stock. Doesn't make it a bad stock, but I'd rather have you in our mantra, safe undervalued stocks rising in price. And every Monday, those are the kinds of stocks that you can concentrate on. Now, if you're looking for more aggressive plays, you know, throughout the week between Ryan and I, we put out a lot of videos throughout the week. You want to find some of those more aggressive plays, tune into our live streams or look at the rest of the videos that come out on uh, the rest of the week. So I wanted to start off, let's go back to a week ago, 812. 2024, let's go, I started this last week, right? Let's go see how they did last week. I'm gonna set this back to 812. Here were my top uh, safe undervalued stocks rising in price. I got a lot of people thanking me for this VIRC play. Man, I'm glad to bring that to you. Insurance is on the rise, go daddy. So let's go see what they did. From last Monday to this Monday, look at this. 5.5% where the market is only up 4.5%. Folks, we outperformed the market by one whole percent over the week. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel and you want to continue to see these kinds of stocks every single week, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you will be alerted to when new stock come out, uh, new stock picks come out like today, right? So if you're not a subscriber and you want to be alerted, that's what you have to do. So we did well last week. Let's go back so you can get your stocks again for this week. We're currently looking at Harmony Gold, Lennar, Toll Brothers, R&R, and Wix. Those are my top five picks. And then I want to take one last look. 
we do put these stocks into a portfolio. And let's go find my top weekly picks. Here they are. And you know, a little bit of back and forth going on. Currently back on the rise, we were as high as, wow, we, we were as high as 29%. The market got hit, we took a hit. I should have done a lot better job managing these stocks. Going forward though, I will. I will probably hedge these plays with contra ETFs when the market is moving lower. But even with that big hit, we're still on the move. We're still on the rise. Here's our stocks. I did put in some stocks last week. Uh, 812, no, oh no, 812 was when my rebuilt, because we were in cash. So you can see here, we were in cash. So here's my top five picks uh, over from last week coming into today. Notice that all of our picks are on the rise. Again, I'm gonna do a much better job. That was a big hit and I could have done a lot better going forward. We will, let's see where we end up for the end of the year. All right, so those are my top five picks for the US market. Let's go over to the Canadian market, same scenario. Nicely rising off of this four day big pullback in the Canadian market, currently above the 65 day moving average. RV, uh, sorry, MTI is above one, so the underlying trend of the market is rising. All right, uh, the buy to sell ratio and RT both below one, but on the rise as well. So I created this search also in the Canadian market. Now, it's a little tougher in the Canadian market because this is a resource rich environment. Talking about gold, talking about oil, those kinds of things is what primarily makes up the Canadian market. So I created the same search, safe, undervalued rising, but when I ran it in the Canadian market, it doesn't yield a lot of stocks. Actually, it only yields one. I didn't want to give you just one stock for the week. So I have another search that I had to create called Top Weekly Picks. Now this adds a little bit to it. Percentage price change greater than $2 or 2%. I wanted to make sure that the stocks I gave you were on the rise. Relative value, 1.1, good upside potential. Relative safety, greater than 1.2. Again, safe stocks. CI, I added the CI factor to make sure that these are stocks that go up more than they go down. I made the stock average volume greater than 50,000 shares and the price greater than a dollar sorted by VST. Now, even running this, I still didn't get a lot of stocks. So uh, Silvercrest was in the first, and in this one, I've got Nvidia, and man, that's probably going to good, be a good play. But look at these. Um, relative value, relative safety is both above one. R in uptrends, VST above one. C man, again, a great way to find great quality stocks every week to start your week off. Now, when the market starts to turn down, I will start to hedge with contra ETF. So if you ever want to know how to hedge, make sure you always, again, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. Every Monday, you will see what I'm doing in this portfolio. So let's go to their portfolio in Canada. Not nearly as well. Again, we got up as high as 12.61%. Again, I should have done a much better job managing these stocks, but I gonna I promise you that I will. This portfolio is down um, week over uh, is actually down for the full time that I've taken a, taken a look at it. Let's go to the viewers. Let's go back to eight twelve. My top picks for last week in the Canadian market. Let's go see what they did. All right, overall, again, I am going to work on doing a better job in the Canadian market, but let's quick test all of these from last week. Look at that, still outperformed the market. Out of the four, uh, the five stocks that were found, uh, these stocks were up 3.72%. Uh, the PTSE was only up 3.32. So we still outperformed the market, but we've got a ways to work back in this portfolio. And I promise you folks, by the end of the year, I will do the best that I can to bring that Canadian portfolio back up. All right, so it's a great way to start off your week. I am going to do a lot more massaging of these portfolios to make sure that we're doing the right things at the right time. Folks, this video is over. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you saw today, hit the like button, share the content. This video is over. Until the next time, folks, see ya.